Hi guys, I'm just coming to you with a mini quarantine re-up grocery haul. So um, I'll just start over here with water. Of course, we know we all need that. So I got water, also got potatoes. Um, some of the meats that I needed was the chicken tenderloins for a meal that I'm going to make. Ground beef, I always need that. Got some hot dogs, bacon, and lunch meat. Also got more burgers, grapes, the McKinley's favorite juice, which is the Capri Sun. She only drinks the lemonade. I was actually able to find some vegetable oil. I was shocked. I got all different types of fries that they like. The seasoned fries, wedges, those, the regular. I got some garlic bread. Um, these are actually my favorite. <laughs> the kids eat the birthday muffins and we have tons of those. I did need some of these tortilla chips. Um, I use these in a loaded potato chicken casserole that I'm going to make and I'll show you guys when I make it. They're nuggets. I use this um, kind of like batter when I fry things, pork chops, chicken, things like this. I even though this is the great value brand, this is like the best queso ever. It's like a dollar eighty-eight cents. I got some more sauce for spaghetti. And I got I always get this taco kit, but then I always buy like an extra pack. Um, I don't know why I just do. I found tissue. Lucky me. I got some cooking spray. These are Micaiah's favorite fruit snacks. Ketchup, I always get a lot of ketchup. If I want my kids to eat anything, I just put ketchup on it and they typically will eat it. Get mustard, um, pizza sauce because I'm going to make homemade pizzas with the kiddos. This will be something to like take up some time and maybe, you know, some bonding time. And then um, that can also be a meal, maybe lunch, not so much dinner, but maybe lunch, unless we're doing it on a Friday. Um, we usually have pizza Fridays anyway. I got some pickles, cinnamon rolls. McKinley likes these for breakfast. I really want a yellow cake with chocolate icing, and I'm going to make it. And I don't know if I want to make it in cupcakes or if I'm going to use my bunt cake pan, but either way, I'm going to make it, and I'll show you guys maybe on Instagram. I got these Hall's cough drops. I always put this in my tea, like every morning, always have whether I'm sick or not. I don't know. I just dropped one in there. I got butter. I got toothpaste. This is the one that I like to use. I don't know if it's just because it like foams, but it just feels like it's getting everything really clean. I found some dish soap. Again, if you find it, you should just pick it up. Um, and peroxide. You're limited to one of these items and they didn't have alcohol, but they have peroxide. So I got that. And if I go again, then I'll get the, the alcohol at that time. I got some biscuits, and these are our favorite cookies. We don't eat the regular Oreos. Well, I don't. Well, most of it in the household, for the most part, we don't. But these are the Thins, and this is the first time that they've come in the family size because usually they just have the regular size and I have to buy two of them. But today they had the family size, so I did pick that up. I got some cheese for the casserole I'm going to make. Um graham cracker sticks i mean i'll eat regular graham crackers but the sticks are better and they're really good in peanut butter nutella or anything like that um i don't know which one i think we'll make one with this pizza blend and then there's like two crust in here and then we'll just do one with the regular mozzarella cheese i got some more cheese singles for sandwiches these are my favorite, favorite, favorite um, granola bars. I get them from Kroger. They're the Kroger brand. I would think that they're like a knockoff of like a Nature's Valley or something, but I don't ever find this particular mix anywhere else other than the Kroger brand. Um, I got lemonade because this is the one that they like. Um, this is my guilty pleasure. I love the Milo Sweet Tea. In the morning, these pancakes are very easy to make. And then McKinley likes the same kind of pancakes, but she likes the mini ones. So, with the mini for her and the regular for us. Um, I normally like LaCroix. I guess, I think that's how you say it, LaCroix. That's what I say. Um, but 
we were completely out. We didn't have it at our store. So I'm trying this bubbly in LaCroix. I get the peach pear. Um, this one is just peach, but I think it'll be fine. I'll make it work. Um, then I'm just going to refill the kids um, chips in our no pantry pantry. I got these Sara Lee Hawaiian rolls. These are great. Um, some regular bread and hot dog buns. And I've just been leaving these little Kleenex out like on the nightstand and different places because um, McKinley, like her allergies are like giving her the blues. So I've just been leaving those out. And I found tissue. So if you find tissue, you should pick it up. Again, that's another thing that you are limited to just one. So yeah, but overall, this is what I got in my quarantine re-up grocery haul. And yeah, and again, I'm going to get into some cooking and make some of the meals for the week and I will bring you guys along. Okay, so the two meals that I will be making today, one is the loaded potato chicken casserole, and you just need cheese. I choose this particular cheese blend. I think any cheese blend. I think um, Walmart has one that's a three cheese blend that works great as well. I just get the tater bites from Kroger. Now you are free to peel potatoes in like a chip style and use them that way or a cube style and use them that way. I'm cheating. <laughs> I'm gonna use tater tots. It tastes delicious this way. Um, and then you just need about a pound of um, chicken breast tenderloins. I use only white meat. My family, we only eat white meat when it comes to chicken. Um, so that's what I use. You also need some bacon. Um, I just take like two slices of bacon and I actually just put it in the microwave and then crunch it down. Always season with Lowry's garlic salt and black pepper. I will also be making a panay pasta, very similar to like a lasagna. I'm just not using the lasagna noodles. Um, sorry, you hear that? That is my comforter that has just stopped in the washer. So you need a pound of ground beef, um, prego sauce. If I can't find the really big one at Walmart, which they were out, I just used two of the regular size prego sauces. Um, and then I get the mini penne pasta and then I get mozzarella cheese. I just get the Kroger brand or whatever. Um, as you can tell from the grocery haul, I went between Walmart and Kroger and I got what I was able to get. I will be preparing both of these meals in the tin foil pans because I can just toss them. These meals will last for at least two days each. And if I can honestly, if I can just make it to Thursday, Friday is one of those days where I'll probably do something fun and make homemade pizza or something like that. I don't know. But Monday through Thursday is the worst for me as I am trying to provide distance learning to my students and homeschool an 11th grader as well as a kindergartner and just, you know, keep the house together, make sure everybody's fed, make sure everybody has what they need. Um, so it's crazy. So if I can get through Thursday, um, I can make it and I know that you know we're all at home and things like that but I still live for Friday like I'm still very much a TGIF kind of girl through the quarantine so yes that's me um, you're also going to want to preheat your oven to 350 or 375 um, three, between 350 and 375 I guess it just depends how um, hot your range gets, but I, 375 works for me. Tonight we are running on the right track. I know we never gonna look back. Guys, I will not be talking a lot through the actual process of how to create the meals. I tried to edit the clip so that you get the footage that you need. And you should be able to just watch the video and create the meals on your own. But if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments. And I will definitely answer them. And I'll leave the ingredients and the little recipe in the description box.
Was a thirsty night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you. You struck me like lightning. You broke my chains and released me. And days turn into nights on the couch in your apartment. No, I am not the same. Everything has changed. Every day. for this particular meal is really quick. Everything is already done. You're simply just allowing the cheese to melt and then it's ready to serve. So just a few minutes to allow the cheese to melt and this meal is ready to go. I do put this pasta meal in the oven for about 45 minutes. As you can see, I put cheese throughout, then cheese on top, the sauce was added. So you want everything to just kind of mesh well together and just warm up perfectly. And you want that cheese to melt. So it typically takes my oven about 45 minutes to achieve what I'm looking for. So I do about 45 minutes. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video today. Please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave some comments below. And please, please, please hit that subscribe button. I will definitely catch you in the next one. Mwah.